Welcome to my channel IT Smart and today we are going to learn the email configure and send and receive email in Webuzo end user control panel. Uh, if this video is informative please like the video and subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more up to date. Let's start the lab. So I'm uh, opening my uh, Webuzo uh, end user control panel. So here the under email we have uh, several email account options. So at first I have to create an email address to send and receive email. So here I create uh, email address e1. I provide the password. Confirm the password confirm password is done so now I just create the account I successfully created my account I create another user u2 provide the password create account successfully created here you can get another uh, uh, advanced mail settings here this is my SMTP server is a smartlab.com the IP address is this port number is uh, configured here like that so my email account is created so I go in my home panel so this is how we can create an email address next email forwarders if you want to send email suppose I have to send a mail uh, u1 and that will be forwarded to u2 so you can set the email forwarders here so uh, if I go here I can see that there are uh, how many email accounts I, I have uh, suppose three user account have created suppose a u1 and u2 suppose I uh, have to configure I want to configure actually and that is suppose somebody is sending a mail to e1 that is that is automatically forwarded to a1 mailbox so in that uh, situation I am just go to the email forwarders here I just put the email address which I have to forward and forwarded email address is e1 and in two email address a at the rate smartlab.com okay so I just create the forwarder So email forwarder is created. Suppose somebody is sending a mail to E1, it is forwarded to A1, A. Okay, so email forwarder is also done. So if you want to add an MX record for the email server, you can add the MX record here. So I don't need MX record right now. So I just keep this. So if you want, you can create an MX record. You can set a priority and uh, you can set the IP address for the destinations so I guess I have an uh, MX record is created already this is the by default MX record so now the next is I have to access the email so this is my brain loop mailbox server so I'm just logging with u1 at the rate of smartlab.com so here you can see that I can log in with a e1 mailbox it is not logged in so I guess I uh, provide some password is incorrect I'm just resetting the password so in that situations you can 
I suppose if you have to forget your password then you can reset this I just reset this password for A1 I reset this password for A2 and I reset this password from U2 done here is an options to access email here you can access your email to click on that or you can go here to access email go home and there you can get an option for an access email here so same uh, window will open so I'm open E1 at the rate of smartlab.com provide password done I'm logging in Rainloop. this is the mailbox server which is by default installed by uh, uh, in Ubuzu Webuzu so this is the mail uh, client console where you can send and receive email so I just logged in logged out here and logged in with U2 also U2 at the rate of smartlab.com provide password So now I send a mail to E1. Subject is test. send email mail sent to you one I just logged out from here and log in with you one you can see that you one I got a mail from you one and you if you remember that uh, previously I was configured here uh, a email forwarder so when you once uh, got an email address and it will automatically forward it to another account the account username is a so I just check it once again so that is received by a1 or not I'm logging with a account and uh, if my configuration was correct then a1 also received the forwarded email yes center is u2 the forwarded email ac address is received by a1 so in till now this is uh, we configured next email address settings email settings so in the under email address settings you can set the configurations of email address uh, who can back up the email address by default the admin user account is set by the owner of the email box server so if you want to change you can they change the email address so admin user account is uh, responsible for installations email remove ins installations edit backup restore clone all these things are uh, configured by administrator okay so get back to home so next is spam ASEAN 
this is the uh, features you, which you have to install because by default this is not installed so you have to install this here is a warning is given there please take a note of the following points before the installing the PAM machine this is required this is required and these are required because when new spamming is uh, done so uh, we have to fulfill this requirement uh, uh, features okay so I'm just keep this one so I don't need right now the spamming prevention so so I have to buy some and other add-ons tools to uh, prevent the spamming so next uh, is auto responder suppose I have to set any responder auto responder uh, suppose I have set auto responder to uh, u2 okay email subject auto hyphen generated email body thank you for mail to IT smart training we will get back to you soon get back to you soon so I set an email address and regards done add the autoresponder okay so now I send from a user account send a mail to u2 test1 test2 send mail is sent to you to I'm refreshing my mailbox here you can see the auto generated mail I received see hi thank you for mail for IT, from IT smart training I will get back to you soon regards IT smart training so this is the features of all features of mail so this is how you can create uh, your mail server and configure your mailboxes suppose you need another mailbox server for that so here is an option emails here the um, uh, so many mailbox servers are uh, applications are here just click on it it will prompt you to install so you can install step by step with the round cube email you just press install button and it will install automatically against that domain okay press just install it is not installing round cube install so because round cube cannot be installed in the free versions so you can rain loop is a webmail which is uh, already installed in my mail so this is how you can configure your mail server okay I'm just trying to install once again I don't know uh, it will uh, working or not but, but I am trying 
everything is not free yes these are not free you have to uh, install uh, you have to purchase the webuzo certificate but if you have a webuzo uh, license and you can uh, use the all the features of that mail servers you can account you can uh, choose your uh, mail server accordingly so if this video is informative please like the video and subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more up to date we will uh, launch you a very good or very knowledgeable video uh, which will help you in your industry uh, please uh, follow the IT smart training we will uh, follow the steps in very scratch level so thank you viewers thank you for watching